There was this third grader who heard his teacher talk about how caterpillars became butterflies and how the caterpillar wrapped in a crystallis seeks to break its way out of that cocoon by straining and struggling and beating its wings against the walls of the cocoon. And that evening, the little boy went home and he found one of those cocoons hanging underneath his porch with a caterpillar just beginning to become a butterfly, just beginning to crack it. And he remembered what the teacher said about how much of a strain and a struggle it was for that emerging butterfly to get out. So he took a safety pin and he cut the side of the cocoon and he pulled out the butterfly and he threw it up in the air so it could fly, but it fell down. He threw it up in the air so it could fly, but it fell down. He did it again and again, but the butterfly would not fly. In fact, the last time that he fell, he died without ever having flown with tears welling up in the corners of his eyes. The next day, he went to his teacher and told her what happened. Said, I heard what you said about the stress and strain that a butterfly goes through trying to get out of the cocoon. I found one yesterday, and I decided to cut him out of the cocoon to help him uh, so he wouldn't have to struggle like that, but he would not fly. In fact, the more I tried to make him fly, the closer it pushed him to his death. The teacher said, well, maybe I should should have been like Paul Harvey and told you the rest of the story that when his wings are beating against the walls of his cocoon it's the stress that is strengthening him so that when the wall breaks he is strong enough after that struggle to fly into his future. I got to tell somebody in here now that if you plan to fly in this life you're going to have to struggle a little while. If you plan to fly in this life you going to have to go through something and don't fall apart when you go through but just know that the struggle is making you strong that the pain is perfecting you that the trial is training you that when you go through it's God pushing you to what God has for you do I have any witnesses up in here